Hey again guys, and welcome back to the first episode of a fully vaccinated mailbag. Let's get started. Really want to get this big one out of the way. Um, spent a little bit of money on this, but there's a reason for it. So this here is actually from Amazon. This is a, a filament dryer. Um, it's a little box that sits next to your 3D printer and you actually put your filament into it. And uh, this was uh, $55 taxes in from Amazon. I could have probably annoyed my Banggood contact and got one, but um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Banggood is still doing business with me. They haven't uh, reached out to me in quite a while. You're welcome. So in principle, uh, you can actually make these boxes, but um, this one has a heating element, so I thought that might be pretty cool. And yeah, the reason for this is because I have a PTG that I, I'm excited to work with, and PTG apparently doesn't do well with uh, moisture, and uh, my workshop, oh, this little Teflon tube spare, okay. Uh, my workshop is like 70% humidity or something ridiculous like that. Um, so yeah, gonna be curious to see how much energy these things use because um, these boxes, you can leave the filament in overnight to dry it out. Uh, 24 volts, two amps, that's like 50, nearly 50 watts. This is a tiny little thing for 50 watts. 24 volt, 2 amp? I don't think so. Maybe we'll test this adapter separate. So yeah, this just sits like this. There seems to be little uh, rollers here. Ooh, very nice. They're on ball bearings. And uh, yeah, you just drop your filament into here. I'm gonna, just going to go get a um, spool to see if it fits. Uh, this is a almost completely finished spool of PLA plus seems to sit in there just fine oh there we go and yeah seems to fit just just fine and uh, it should heat up as well when I plug in the little thing there's an upgraded version of this but um, that was like 80 some bucks instead of 50 some bucks and I'm a bigger fan of paying 50 some instead of 80 some. Let's see. Should plug in on the back, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't stick out too far. No, it's not too bad. Okay. I have a little LCD display here. It says it is 19 degrees C. SV. Oh, set value. SV is set value. Okay, we can set it to 50 degrees C. Then maybe I'll just wait a second. And now it says P value. I don't know what P value means. Time. And set value time. Five hours, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it can go up quite quite a distance. You guys probably don't see any of this. It is dim to me as well. 24 hours, okay. Okay, how do you turn on the heating then? Is it on now? Oh, yeah, it's on. It's warm. Okay, and we'll just have to give this some time to chooch and it should warm up. Alright. Neat. I'm gonna go, uh, I guess, uh, set it aside and let it work while while I film the rest of this mailbag video. Here it is sitting in my 3D printing area. Um, I don't have much space here so yeah there it is. Uh, it did not take very long to go up to 50 degrees Celsius uh, so right now the box is nice and toasty. I can feel it. Um, I also didn't want to unload my filament so I just ran it through this hole, but I think ideally the filament would come out of this uh, unicorn hole here. I just jammed a piece of uh, uh, PTFE tubing in there. Uh, so yeah, when I'm able to rerun 
the filament, which includes heating up the uh, hot end and pulling it out, I'm going to run it through there and that'll be a lot less of a sharp bend for the filament to come out. I think the ideal ideal would be to have it up here on a shelf and then it just feed down into the extruder, but it is what it is. So yeah, it is working right now. I did figure out the buttons. Uh, you have to long press this one to set the time, then long press to um, accept. And then just uh, this button will let you adjust the set temperature. So very simple thing, and it seems to work just fine. So I am ready to give um, PETG a try. Well, I think that was lots of fun. Um, next one up is this one here, kind of a chunky boy. Push button switch, um, $4.79, June 21st to July 14th. Um, I don't actually remember what this is. Oopsies, July 14th. Right now it is July 23rd. So, yeah. My brain's been pretty scattered lately. Well packed, whatever it is. I think on here it says, uh, yeah, push button switches. And it also says it's, docu uh, it's documents. So, yeah. Oh, actually, I know exactly what these are. Ooh, fuses. Fancy. There we go. So these, these are these little IEC boxes. Actually, it's kind of dark. Let me zoom you in a bit, too. So, yeah, these are these little uh, boxes uh, that you can plug an IEC cable. This is the type of cable that comes with a lot of uh, computer power supplies and stuff. I've got a bunch of these cables around, and um, it comes with these little switches, so you can switch on and on, on and off the uh, mains power. A lot of 3D printers have these. They're fairly easy to design a 3D printed box that these things slot into. And so it makes it a little bit cleaner when you've got your mains power connections um, all behind a box so nobody can go and touch them and just plug in and out. And you've got these little fuses that go into these little holders here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pop this thing open. There we go. So the fuses go right into this thing here. And then that slides down into here. And then you plug in your IEC and you flip on and off. And I think these things are lit with a little neon. Typically you can see the legs. Yeah, you can. Right there. You see the leg right down there? A little piece of metal. That's the leg of the neon indicator. There's the other side here. So, yep. Yeah, this is uh, super simple stuff. But it's very useful for making your own enclosures for power supplies instead of just having the connections open kind of like this. This is less professional, this is more professional. So you know, if you're gonna be demonstrating some stuff like I plan on doing, I plan on doing a couple of uh, community 3D printing days where I set up my 3D printer on my front lawn and have the neighborhood come see once uh, you know everyone's vaccinated a little bit more, then um, yeah, I don't want people poking around on mains wiring, even though I would be safe personally. On to the next one. Next one up is this one here with no information on it. Ordered June 21st, arrived July 14th, $4.56. Huh, I ordered three of these, interesting. So these guys should be uh, USB to serial programmers. Yeah, USB to TTL. I think that's what that means. I, you know, I came into the game pretty late in in my life, so I'm not really sure what uh, the difference between a you know USB to UART or USB to serial or uh, I look. I don't really know, but I do know that um, these USB converters are used to program Arduinos and like um, microcontroller boards and whenever it's time to program one 
I'm always looking for mine. These were fairly cheap because uh, it was, you know, four fifty for three of them, so just over a buck each. And uh, I would easily pay that much to have less, uh, you know, stress trying to find these things when the time comes. Let me zoom in a little bit closer and we'll take a better look at these. And here we are a little bit more close up. Um, first of all, this board is pretty. Look at all the gold. Very fancy. Um, I was expecting this to be a CH340 and it might be a CH340 chip, but there are no markings on it. I've taken a look can't see anything but we do have 5 volts 3b3 txd rxd and ground and we also have rts and cts i don't know if one of those is like same thing as dts i don't know but we do have them broken out over here so yeah i'm going to be giving these a shot uh, hopefully i can program you know uh what is it pro micro or something one of those um Arduinos that do not have serial built in and um, we'll see if it was worth it but for you know under two dollars each I think that was a valid thing to buy especially if they work if not well uh, I don't know I guess I'm gonna be just disappointed next one up we've got this one again no information actually all of the envelopes in this one came in one big envelope so yeah, there's no information. There was probably like four stickers on top of stickers on top of stickers. So I have no idea. All I do know is that same amount of time and uh, $6.62. I feel like the AliExpress vendors are now just sort of sticking together and combining shipping. These things are tiny. Again, you've got 0805 and um, 0603 uh, these I believe are LEDs that I had ordered uh, to replenish my SMD pile or start my SMD pile I don't have a lot of SMD LEDs so again I'll have to get you a closer look let's start with this one here it's gonna be hard to keep the focus uh, on the camera so yeah you're gonna have to bear with me uh, so this is actually a multi-pack of colors there's five colors and that would be red green yellow white and blue there's the five in 0805 100 of each and these are like pretty cheap like three dollars per pack basically 0805 and 0603 so um i'm going to be putting these all away but uh, as I do that, we're going to give them a test and I'll, you know, drop them into those little storage containers I have. So I got my storage system all out here. Um, as you can see, I actually have 0805 white and 0805 blue in stock already. Uh, and I don't have the green, yellow and red. But I figured I would order all of them anyways because it's just cheaper like that. So I figured we're just going to light them all up as I put them in. So here we are in diode check. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this properly. Oh, there it goes. That one's lit. Okay, and the forward voltage is roughly 2.7 volts. And if you're wondering how I get them into the pot without making a mess, basically I just pour it all out onto a piece of note paper like a you know just tiny little piece of paper and then pour them into the bucket shut the lid as soon as possible that's how I do it and blue you see that light up yeah you do And now for green, that is uh, 2.4 volts forward voltage. And yellow, 1.9 volts forward voltage.
and red with a forward voltage of 1.8 and I repeated the same process for the 0603s um, I'm actually gonna put the 0603s in and the 0805 side by side so you can tell the size difference um, there's there's just not that much difference but the 0805 are easier to hand solder than the 0603 even though I am hand soldering a whole bunch of these for a live stream. And just so you can see the difference, uh, here's a metric scale. These are centimeters and millimeters. And over here, this is a 1206. So I had this in stock before. This is an 0805 and this is a 0603. So it's getting pretty small at this point, but this is far from the smallest LEDs that exist just probably the smallest LEDs that I'm going to keep in stock. And last but not least is this one, uh, June 21st, July 14th, $3.44 and zero useful information on the package. But I think I know what these are. Yes, they are indeed. Um, these are these fork terminals. And I bought some before, but these ones here are a little bit smaller because they should fit my um, PCB terminals. Let me grab one. These things better fit or my disappointment will be immeasurable. Here it goes. Oh, baby. They fit. So they fit these uh, terminals here, these screw terminals that I had bought to do projects like this. Do they fit my electronic load? Oh, they fit my electronic load too. So these are the correct size for those. And make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to get your own. So these are just uh, crimp terminals. Um, simple as can be. They are dirt cheap because three dollars, you know, under four dollars for uh, 200 of these. So it's always good to keep them in stock. And so this is it. Uh, these guys plus that uh, Sunlu filament dryer thing make up today's mailbag video. I want to thank you guys so much, uh, especially the Patreon patrons who um, give me the uh, kind of the impetus to order these things. Uh, however, there's a new crop of people I want to thank, and that is, that is the people using my Banggood or AliExpress affiliate links to buy stuff. That little bit of commission adds up over time and uh, allows me to uh, spend money on these kinds of things as well. Thanks for watching.